Hello everyone, let's start with a new video of Magento 2 Marketplace Multi-Vendor Module. This module is most important and beneficial module for Magento 2 as it will convert your Magento 2 store into a multi-vendor marketplace where any customer can become a seller or sell products in your marketplace. Any customer can become seller with the approval of the admin and admin will charge commission on every sale of their products. So in this video I am going to show you how admin can easily configure or manage things for this module. So we have to log into our admin panel. So this is our demo admin panel. Uh, here we have to go to uh, stores configuration. And under store configuration you will uh, get a marketplace menu. Uh, under marketplace menu you will get uh, various uh, drop down menus for the settings. Uh, so the first drop down is general setting. So we will discuss about the general setting. So here admin have to set the email id uh, for the marketplace so admin's email id is uh, test at the rate .com. you can set it as per you need uh, you can set the admin email address here now the global commission rate is 20 you can uh, set it according to your terms and policies now the next field is allow seller to manage orders if it is yes then seller can easily manage their orders and if it is no then seller cannot manage their orders now move product tax to seller account if it is yes then product tax will be moved to the seller's account and if it is no then uh, seller uh, tax will not move to the seller's account you can uh, set these as per your needs so now the next field is seller approval required so if it is yes, then the seller needs approval uh, to sell the products or become a partner uh, for the marketplace. And if it is no, then uh, seller don't need any approval. They can uh, just register and become uh, click on become partner and they can easily uh, sell the products. Uh, now the set captcha enable if it is yes then captcha is enabled and if it is no then captcha is uh, disabled so that's all for the general settings uh, now we will move to the seller product setting so here are the attribute ids attribute set ids so if admin have created uh, various attribute uh, sets then uh, those will be displayed here but as our admin have not created attribute set so default attribute set is displayed so here you can select the attribute set for the sellers now the product approval required if it is yes then product any product added by the seller in the marketplace will require admins approval to display on the marketplace and if it is set no then the product will be uh, directly displayed to the marketplace there will be no approval required so now the next field is product update approval required so here if it is set yes then the modification of the on existing product or updation on uh, the existing product will require uh, permission of the admin and if it is said no then no permission will be required for modif modifying existing products now the next field is allowed categories for a uh, seller to add products so here you can write the categories which are allowed for the sellers to add product you can write categories by comma separated now the next field is product type for seller you can select any product type or you can uh, unselect any product type to restrict the seller to add that kind of product so that's all for the seller product setting part now we will move to the inventory setting part here 
in inventory setting the first field is enable low load notification if it is set yes then uh, the low notification will be sent to the sellers or the admin and if it is set no then uh, there will be no, uh, no notification sent and will not sent to the sellers or the admin uh, now the low stock quantity if the stock quantity is 5 then the notification will be sent you can set the low stock quantity as according to your need so if you set 10 then if the stock decrease and come to the 10 last 10 units then uh, the low notification will be sent to the sellers or the admin so we will set here 5 so that's all for the inventory setting parts we will move to the seller profile page setting so here in the seller profile page seller can enable color picker if yes then seller can uh, pick color and if no then uh, color picker will be disabled now the next field is seller policy enable at front end if it is yes then it will be displayed in the front end or if it is uh, no then the seller policies will uh, be disabled from the front end then rewrite a seller's shop url uh, if it is yes then sellers can easily rewrite the shop url and if it is no then a seller cannot rewrite the shop urls so that's all for the sellers profile page setting now we will move to the marketplace seller review setting here so in marketplace seller review setting uh, admin can uh, set it as yes or admin can uh, disable it if it is set as yes then only allowed or authorized buyer can review the sellers and if it is set as no then any buyers can review the sellers so that's all for the marketplace seller review setting now we will move to the landing page setting so uh, here is the la landing page setting uh, the first field is marketplace landing page uh, head title so here admin can easily configure the landing page as per their requirements so the first field is marketplace landing page head title so here you can write any title as per uh, your requirement so our title is turn your passion into a business now if admin wants to display the banner then uh, admin can set it uh, as yes or if admin don't want to display any banner then admin can set it as no admin can uh, choose file for the banner image from uh, here now the banner content admin can easily write the banner content from uh, this field and now the landing page uh, labels so here you can write the label titles as per your needs now the landing page button label here you can uh, write any title for this button now the display icons so admin can easily uh, choose icons and uh, write the label for the icons so here is three icons or four here are four icons uh, displayed in the landing page now uh, admin can write some message about the marketplace from this field now the next field is marketplace uh, seller list page bottom label and the top label uh, admin can write the store name as per their needs so that's all for the landing page setting uh, we will move to the marketplace profile page field hints so here admin can easily uh, enable or disable the profile uh, hints and if it is enabled then admin can easily write the profile page hints so here is profile twitter id you can uh, admin can write uh, hints about 
or example about uh, this field so then the contact number profile uh, background color then shop name shop banner images and so on so it will help the seller to uh, set up their profile page according to your need, needs so that's all for the profile page uh, field hints uh, now marketplace uh, product page field hints so if it is set yes uh, then the product adding a product uh, by the seller will be uh, very much easy so admin can easily write hints for the different fields so that's all for the marketplace project product page field hints now we will move to the marketplace transactional emails transactional emails will be sent on any events so these are the events and here you can select the transactional mails so admin can uh, configure uh, transactional mail according to uh, their needs so that's all for the marketplace configuration part I hope you have understood how uh, admin can easily configure the marketplace module for uh, Magento 2. So thank you for watching this video. Stay connected.